Hey Gear Seekers, I'm Nick. It's uh, time to pick up where we left off with our streaming series and we're gonna build the encoding PC today. So we're gonna do something a little bit different. Uh, we're gonna go part shopping. We haven't done a Gear Seekers part shop in a while. And yeah, b b by part shopping, I mean we're literally gonna pick up some parts from the studio, all pre-selected, all completely staged and set up already. But eh, I mean, let's do the video different at the start. So Claire, camera lady, Follow me and we're gonna go part shopping. Okay, the first thing we're gonna need, well, it's obviously not the first thing, but we're going to need some capture cards for our encoding PC. So we've got two Avamedia GC573s. These are 4K60 capture cards. We're gonna be using this. Completely overkill, uh, really awesome. We've got a very uh, crazy streaming setup that we're gonna be doing. And we're obviously gonna show you how we're gonna put everything together. But for this video, we're just building the encoding PC. So let's start off with those parts. I'll try not to fill up on parts too much. Next up, we're going with the Wraith Ripper. And the reason why we're going with the Wraith Ripper is obviously we're going Threadripper, but we're going second gen Threadripper because I don't wanna tie up my third gen stuff just yet. Okay, what else do we need? Uh, we need a motherboard. Right, a motherboard to put in our CPU, which we haven't said what we're doing yet. Okay, X399 ASRock Pro Gaming. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna try and carry these because they're gonna block the mic, so. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can sit down now. Okay. <laughs> right, now let's go CPU. I decided and I've been, that's the reason why you've seen it in the background a lot lately is because I'm um, going second gen Threadripper, but not just any Threadripper, 24 core, 2970WX. I've been holding out on using the CPU for this system for a very long time. And yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing for CPU. And I think the last thing I'm gonna show is the GPU. Uh, what are we going with? All these ones need water block, oh, well, water cooling, cause they're all like water force cards. So let's go with the 1660 Super, right there. Now, the reason why I'm going with this, right? The 1660 Super is NVENC. Now, a bunch of my streaming buddies, they use this on their encoding PC and they swear by it for the new NV encoder. I'm not sure if these actually use the new encoder, but apparently these are excellent for streaming, for encoding, so that's why we're going with it. And the reason why we're going Threadripper is in case I want to do CPU encoding, so we've got more than enough cores and all that jazz for that. Build time, right? Did you forget what you're putting it in? Who cares? They already know. You've seen it. The, the what is it? The Cooler Master Silencio S600 that I put wheels on and I, I did a little bit of modding on. Now can we build? Yes. Am I loud now? Yep. I'm sweating today. I'm also wearing a hat because I'm embarrassed of how long my hair is at the moment. Look how ridiculous it looks. It's getting, it's getting too long. This um, self-isolation stuff's making me a little bit crazy. Nah, I do this every day of my life. Anyway, build time. Let's go. Okay, so this isn't a normal build video. This is our encoding PC. So I'm not gonna be doing any benchmarks or anything for this build video. I just wanna make it very clear because there's gonna be another part to this build where we're gonna show you how we're setting up all of our encoding settings and how we're going to do everything with all of the setup stuff that we decide to do, which we have planned out, but we wanna keep that a little bit secret because we've got a few special tricks up our sleeves that we want to share with you, but we'll keep that in mind and we'll keep that to show you for a video in probably a couple days or so, maybe next week, I don't know. But yeah, I want to get this built so I can actually configure everything and then show you how we did everything. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty normal build video from here on out. So let's get into it.
Hope you guys enjoyed the build of our new encoding PC. This is something super exciting for me. I've been so keen to get this project finally off the ground and up and running. And yeah, here it is. We finally have our Threadripper beast to do all of the encoding now. I'm not doing any benchmarks or any of that kind of stuff in this video. I'm not gonna do any setup. We're do not doing any of that. We're gonna cover that in a separate video that I'm guessing you guys will find a lot more interesting than a build of a an encoding PC. So yeah, but I did wanna share this with you because yeah, it is very, very exciting for me. When we get to do these projects like this, I do get very, very excited excited and I want to share every single stage of this process with you. Now there's a couple more videos in this series you can check out and there is a link in the top right hand corner now to a playlist with everything from the way we set up the room that we're going to be streaming in to modding this case in we did two videos with modding it and now also this video will be in that playlist too. So yeah I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Now let's quickly talk about the parts. The CPU is the Ryzen Threadripper 2970WX. It's a 24 core 48 thread absolute monster for content creation and encoding and doing all of the heavy lifting for all of the things. To cool that CPU, we use the Cooler Master Wraith Ripper. This cooler is pretty good. I've used it in the past. I have modified this. I've actually pulled the whole thing apart and rotated the fan, which is why you can tell it's a bit janky because it's kind of hard to put back together but yes it is set up with the fan in exhaust and the temperature difference is minimal but uh, considering this this case fan configuration it's going to do just fine now the fans aren't the final fans that we're going to be using we've got a bunch of Noctua fans that are basically going to fit in every single spot but because I want to get this system staged and up and running I just put in some black fans that I had laying around and the ones that uh, will go in here are going to be the uh, the beige Noctua ones like the ones at the top, but not the slim ones like that. Now the GPU, like I mentioned in the intro, is the Gigabyte 1660 Super Gaming OC. We've used it in plenty of builds, we've done lots of this GPU, and it's time for it to live in its NVN code home. Yeah, the capture cards are the GC573s from Avamedia. They're both 4K60 capture cards. They can actually do, I think, 240 frames in 1080p, which is pretty crazy. But yeah, that's what we're doing for capture hardware. There is a bunch of other stuff that's gonna be plugging into this system as well, like a 12 channel USB interface, which is gonna be pretty crazy. But yeah, I'll go through all of that in the setup. Now, if you're interested in any of the parts, I'll put a PC part picker list down in the description so you can peruse that list and see everything that we used in this build up until now. And if you liked the music that you heard here, I make all the music and you can grab that over on our Patreon. Yeah, I just wanted to make this video as short and as sweet as possible and just share this because I am really, really excited to get this up and running. And I think the next part will probably happen in the next week, within the week probably. So yeah, very excited. Are you keen, Claire, for this whole new stream and setup? Oh yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Okay guys. If you like the video, you know what to do. Tell us what you liked about it. Tell us what you hated about it. If you want to support the channel, hit the join button or you can follow us and subscribe on Floatplane. Yep, once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak, we seek. And you probably noticed that uh, from the build section till now, I rearranged the order of the cards. I did some bench testing and it actually worked in the order that I had it in with the other CPU because I had a 2920X in here when I was staging it all before I swapped the CPU out. And yeah, now it doesn't want to work in that order, but it does work in this order. So this is going to be the order that we're doing everything in from now on. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm too excited for this, Claire. I can tell. Yeah. No one, no one understands. This is just very exciting for me. Thank <sighs> you.